Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here at Car Duke Garage. Last video saw so I was getting the Accord engine here, showing you the two new project cars that we have. More of a long term, pretty quick turnaround on this one. The bay getting done on this. Accord engine obviously is here. We're gonna do a little bit of stuff for the Accord engine, and then there's more stuff gonna be going down hopefully. And it's supposed to be coming out here, so we'll probably do work on the EG and that 20B. So stick around for that one. But right now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to record too much of it because I already did. I never got around to finishing porting the intake. Uh, I was being lazy and doing other stuff. But we'll go ahead and finish porting the intake out. Go ahead and do all the mod stuff that I want to do with it up here. And then I've always wanted to like clean this up because the opening's not too big on this. And I got plenty of room. So I'm going to open this up a little better. So that's what we're going to do now. So it's going to kick on the fan because it's really hot right now. And... It's important. Alright guys, so I, was, I finished up this one, I was working on this one, but for some reason the bit kept coming loose, like untightened. I couldn't figure out why, so I took it apart and noticed that it's all like worn out inside here. So when you go to tighten it's still loose. So when you go to tighten it, it's still loose in here. So I gotta get another one of these. So I'm gonna run up to the parts store, see if they have another. See how Angel's Bay came out pretty good and how mine is. His is more like stringy looking. I kind of liked how his came out. He used, as you see, a little different of a method than I did, but they both came out pretty good. I'm happy with how both bays look, so that's good. What I'm going to do now is probably run up to the house, grab my stand so I can put this engine on the engine stand and find somewhere in this mess of a place to put it. I like to try and get it in here, but as you can see, this is packed full of parts. I don't know. So I'll figure that out. Pick the camera back up when I figure out what we're doing. And get going. Alright guys, well it's the next day. We're gonna have some breakfast right here real quick. We got the party for the E36. So we're gonna go ahead and work on this in a little bit. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna have some breakfast first. And then we'll work on this. I didn't mess with this yesterday. Angel came by. We did a little bit on his bay and then he left so i just ended the video there not the video but like stop recording then so but today's plan is hopefully get the oil leak fixed on this if i can get the oil leak fixed on this we're gonna jump right into content on this um i got some stuff still coming in for the accord so we can finish buttoning this up cut more like valve cover gasket i need uh oil pan when he, my buddy brought the engine back he forgot to bring the oil pan and the crank pulley so we're waiting on those uh, probably gonna go get those later today or tomorrow Finish button up the engine. <clears throat> I ordered the, all the studs for this so we can get that set up, <clears throat> get it ready to be put in the car. I still need a clutch and a flywheel, but I was going to use the old clutch, but you guys saw in the video how they were, it was all messed up. So I'm going to get a new clutch kit. But let me eat some food, get some drink in me, and we'll start busting out the 36. Like I said, if I can get that working, we'll probably do a lot more stuff on this because, I, like I said, this isn't going to be a car that's going to sit around. I want to knock shit out on this car ASAP. I would love to fix that oil leak, probably pull the diff out, weld the diff, or work on doing a hydro angle mods, something on it. But <clears throat> we're going to do some work on the C36 so we can take it out to OSW and just lay some tires in it. But for now, let me eat because I like to eat. You all know this. I talk about food all the time. Alright guys, so I also got a whole bunch of um, AN6 fittings in. I got some straights, some 90s, 180s, 45, stuff like that, you know. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to tap the valve cover on the cord for the cord so I can get a catch can on there because the old catch can didn't do shit. I really wanted to do one through the valve cover. So I got a bunch of these. Uh, only thing I forgot to get was the fittings, to, the bongs to weld onto the valve cover. So I'm debating if I want to do them down here, up here, and then do my out or something like that. 
what would it be like a 45 I'm not sure yet but I got a few of them all so I'm gonna actually go ahead and order the bungs to weld on the here or see if anyone sells them locally so I can try and get this done today or soon you know so we're a step closer to getting this done so I'm gonna go look around for that all right guys so um, I went ahead and just ordered the bungs on eBay so when I get those in go ahead and make that valve cover happen unfortunately I had to order them I couldn't find any place around that sold them locally if I can find a place I'll still get them because they're not too expensive and I'll have an extra set to do the valve cover on you know because I have a spare valve cover but we can do one of the other valve covers too and I can just order more fittings and stuff I got to order AM lines too so <clears throat> but yeah I didn't realize those are 6 AMs that I ordered and usually you do like 8 AM or something like that when you tap valve covers to do catch can. So maybe I'll build something else with it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I got fittings, order bungs. Um, I know I can get the AM lines around here and I think I got some anyways left over from when we did the oil line for the Accord for the turbo setup. So stop talking. I've been talking a lot. Let's do some work now. Time to get these hands not dirty because I'm wearing gloves. Oh wait, they're really dirty. <laughs> okay, so right here's the o-ring for it that we were waiting on So now I'm just gonna take this all back apart so I can place the o-ring in it see if that fixes the issue I'm not gonna record really any of this and get to it. You guys already seen this before. Okay, so it's all taken apart Cleaned it up as best I can we got this off here So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this little rubber gasket off right here Take this little o-ring put the new one on slap it back together and hope that fixes my issue. Right, I just want to show you guys this. I was taking the old one off and it's just brittle as can be. Like it's hardened as hell. It's definitely the issue. It should be like this. As you can see, you know, that's hard. So, still this one on there, slap it back together. Hopefully we get to drifting soon. All right guys, so I got it all back together. Well, not all of it, but the oil filter housing back on. I put some RTV in it again. And I snugged them down a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes or so. So it kind of hardens and cures a little bit. Then I'll tighten it up. Then I'm going to start it up to make sure it's not leaking before I assemble everything again. So, catch you guys then. No more deep. We are good. I'm going to shut it off because there ain't really no oil in this thing. Well, guys, we're driving the E36. It's not leaking anymore. So, yeah. I guess that's it for now. Going to drive it for a little bit, check it, make sure. Uh, I gotta go up to the parts store and get some oil for it. It's really low in oil, but we're good. We're good. Yeah. All right, guys. So it's like the next day from the last clip you guys saw. Uh, put about three quarts or so in it. That's how low it was. But yep, yeah, it's out. It's raining as you can see, which is pretty dope because I don't want to keep sliding the caddy. So we might be pulling the diff out of this. I don't know because I gotta figure out some front end work on it and shit like that. So. I might wait off, but I do want to start sliding this thing real soon. This and this. We need to talk. Alright, this engine we I put together and everything. We wanted to put an F20, the F23 in their core. But this chassis has been already modified for H and F series. So what I'm thinking is, God, I'm a fatty. Look at this. Jump. You gotta clean up here, guys. Ugh, I'm a fat ass. This engine here, finish assembling it, throw all the turbo stuff on it, drop it in this with my transmission that I have from the Accord, get this car running. Um, all I want to do with this car literally is throw a clip on it, paint the bay, same as these, paint it the same color as the Accord, and the interior, I mean, you see the interior. <laughs> so all I want to do is all the junk that's back here, take it all out, see what I have what I need that's pretty much it really I don't really want to put interior in this might try and lighten the chassis up a little more cut it out cut out back here stuff like that I need tail lights I need to get a wing but little things like that so <clears throat> that's what we might be focusing on so I'm not gonna do it in this video I'll probably be in the next video um I don't know how, uh, this door is heavy to close for some reason that's a freaking manual door <clears throat> what I might want to might do is put the room rain seal on here, valve cover, oil pan, stuff like that. The timing cover, crank pulley, and just get this done. 
been getting ready for this. In the next video, we'll, we'll do. We'll start working on this. Um, I'd like to get it moved up a little bit, up in the air, all the wheels off of it, clean it out, and go through it like I was saying. So stay tuned for the next video on that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea. We'll put the pre-built F23 with the turbo stuff in this, and this will just go straight to F20B or H22. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I think that's a better idea, therefore, you guys have content quickly on this car. This car gets done, we can take it to the track, beat it up, have some fun, and then we can finish doing the stuff on this car that I wanted to do, that I was never able to do. Well, not able to do, but didn't want to do, because that's always gonna make it like a slow street car. <clears throat> but we'll have this too. But I do want to pull all the interior out of the Accord and get the sound deading out of it, pull all the AC and heater stuff out since we're not going to be running heater AC in this car, um, go through your suspension some more, things like that, camera kits, ball joints, whatever it needs. So let me know down in the comments, but I'm going to put this camera down and probably throw some stuff on this engine right here. Alright guys, so right here, we got a box of some goodies, not really, but um, valve cover gasket, everything for it. The little garments for the um, bolts, for the, well, for the spark plug tunnels, stuff like that. Valve stem seals will be ready to be placed now, but these can be spares for another engine. Gaskets, pretty much everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and swap out these on the valve cover, these, and do these on the valve cover, so we can get the valve cover on the engine. And then work our way down. I'm going to clean the oil pan for it. Oh, and I guess I'll talk about it now since you guys already kind of saw it. Got a fender for this because this one's all destroyed. Yeah. And then this here is supposed to be a JDM intake manifold for an H22. I don't know. We'll see. But if it is, then I'm going to be using that throttle body. But I don't think it is. It looks like just like a F22 throttle body, I guess. Yeah, got to clean the pan out and the pickup tube and stuff. So I'm going to do all that and we'll be back. But, um, I'm going to put the valve cover gasket on it, as you can see. Mira, it's being chiquiti, don't, don't not feed. So, yeah, so I looked at the part number, and this is actually for D16, not an F23. So, I need the valve cover gasket. Oh, yep. So, we're just going to move on from here, because I'm not going to waste time. We can always get one later. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do is clean up the oil pan and then I'm not going to use ga uh, a gasket on that because who needs to? Got some RTV, just gunk it up with RTV. I want to clean it out because there's some nasty gunk in here. And then I need to tighten this up right here for the drain for the turbo setup. So let's clean this out, tighten this up, clean all this. RTV it and get it on the block. Alright guys, so I cleaned up the oil pan inside and out. Got rid of all the RTV on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up to make sure it doesn't leak. And then slap it on the block. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take this um, back piece for the engine stand off. So we can get to the back of this. I want to clean this surface around here for the rear main seal. I want to clean this cover, get this seal out get the new gasket on and their seal on this and on the block and then we'll go ahead and put the oil pan and stuff on as well all right guys so i got that off and i got this all wire wheeled up nice and clean so now i'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> clean up that plate that goes per the rear main seal and then lay a little bit of rtv around here put the gasket on throw the rear main seal and everything on here and call it good for back here and then we'll get to the pan all right guys so this is pretty much cleaned up the best is we gonna get it i'm gonna go ahead and lay a thin layer of rtv around this whole thing and then throw the gasket on it a little bit around the block as well and then put it together all right guys so went ahead and got this on put rtv on the block and on this put the gasket on the plate and then put it all on and then i put my impact setting on one and just tighten it all down then i went to two and just one click all around and then the seal i put on last 
after the plate is on so it's more stable and then you just put oil around it and then push it in I go around with the mallet and tap it in and then you get something you know, an extension whatever you got and just go around this all the way around um, it pretty much will stop when it's completely on there's like a little rivet on the other side or something and it will just sit on there so now throw some RTV on this pan slap the pan on this that's pretty much all I can do right now um, I want to do the timing, lower timing cover and all that stuff as well but the one I have here at the shop is the one that's all messed up I forgot to bring the good one from the apartment so do that another time off camera but <clears throat> just gonna slap the pan on it probably call it a night, or not a night but like a day for this engine and then start the next video working on the EK so we can get this engine ready to be put in that and I want to go through it like I said and see what I need to get and what I have so let's get a pan on this and we'll go from there alright guys so this cradle plate is on pickup tube is on it's all tightened down torqued down go ahead and RTV up that and throw it on here and we should be pretty much good for today with this thing all right guys so rear main seal is on oil pan is on everything that i needed to put on is on so engine's pretty much ready to get put back in the car <clears throat> just gotta get the flywheel in the clutch the studs and then the valve cover gas put it in and it should be ready to rock and roll which is great because i don't know Cadillac's boring to drive we're gonna have a dope car again to whip I don't know what else to say guys, I guess we're just going to end it there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button because we're making moves. Always hit the notification button so you all get notified when we post. And share these videos because we're making moves. Hopefully we hit 3k soon. I'm, I'm really pushing. I know we're far away from it, but we'll make it happen. And then 4k, 5k, we'll just keep growing. We're going to keep growing together guys. As the cars get better, the channel gets better, the content gets better. So please like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button. Peace.